Um, hey, yeah, that and two things. I mean, we definitely felt like we wanted to upgrade um, our non-conference schedule and, uh, you know, play uh, some of the best talent of the nation that we defined. And, you know, Texas Tech's two years removed from the national championship, and um, you know, we got a lot of the uh, core players back, you know, from that, that team that was been so successful, that, that was so successful in the, in the Big 12. Um, and it is close to Nikki's hometown. Texas, so um, it was it was a win-win situation. You know, two positives and no negatives going down there. Is this going on? Yes. So they'll they'll be returning next year to Penn State. We talk about you're going to end up seeing somebody you saw down in South Carolina. Yeah, Kelsey Bone. Talk a about about her. As a she's good. That kid, she's been good since like she was 14. You know, she's she's just a really good polished, solid post player, um, you know, and, and she goes as they go. I mean, she's she's gotten better since she's been in college. Um, you know, she's got the high post game. She can put the ball on the floor. Um, and, and then she's just terrific when she gets great position down in the post and, and what she can do down there. Um, you know, Carla Gilbert is a good compliment to, to what, what Kelsey Vaughn brings to the table. So they've got, um, you know, two really – powerful, experienced, dynamic post players, and it's going to be a challenge to our defense for us to, you know, to contain those two. And then you can't, you know, you can't forget about Standish and, and Peyton Little on the perimeter. <coughs> got, you know, some outstanding three-point shooting threats to complement them. So, um, you know, they're, they're, they're a tough team to, to defend. Did you watch the, uh, their first game? Score 45 points. Eh, first games don't mean anything, you know. You saw us play our first game, so I, I have a sneaky suspicion Texas A&M is going to play a lot better than they did their first game, and you know I'm really confident we're going to play a lot better. So, um, you know, they're talented. They're extremely well coached. I mean, you know, Gary Blair's a Hall of Fame coach, national championship coach, so I know he's going to have them ready to play, and they're going to play better. Um, and that's what we expect. We expect the best Texas A&M team to show up. It's going to be one of the more athletic teams you play all year? Certainly, one of the more athletic teams. Uh, you know, it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be, a, you know, a, a challenge in styles. You know, we want to play up and down. We want to we want a high pay, a high scoring, fast paced game. Um, you know, they kind of like to grind it out a little bit more and, and certainly get their posts involved and, you know, focus uh, um, defensively on slowing, slowing us down and, you know, kind of grinding it out. So I think it's going to be a battle of um, of styles in, in, in this game. Talked a lot about patience after the game the other day. Uh, the, the preseason game in this one, yet uh, 20 or 20 turnovers, 25 turnovers. Is that the, the part? You've got some, some experienced ball handers. Mm -hmm. Do they want to try to do too much sometimes? Or Yeah, I think, um, well, one of the things, I, I think uh, we're spreading the ball around a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So we have a lot of people handling. So it's not a matter of just our experienced ball handlers, but I think it's everybody being a lot more comfortable uh, handling the ball and, and making decisions. So um, I think that will improve as, as the season goes on. Um, but certainly we need, to, we need to have better ball security and, and take care of the ball, make, make better decisions on the offensive end of the floor. Um, and then we've got to defend better. You know, we gave up too many, uh, too many pain touches against Howard. So I'd like to see us keep the ball the paint a little bit better against Texas A&M. The ball of your knockout schedule, the top knockout schedule. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you talk sorry. About your knockout schedule is beginning now, so how are you guys, what are you guys focusing on the most against top teams like Texas A&M tomorrow and then Miami and Georgetown tomorrow? Well, it's not that we're focusing on anything different. Um, we want to just get better at what we do. And I think we can play faster. Um, I don't think we're, I don't think the pace when we played against Howard was what we wanted to be. Um, so I think we've got to play faster. I think we can continue to improve defensively. Um, and I, as I said, not give up so many uh, so many drives to the paint. Um, but we we just got to play faster, and we've got to have better balance uh, on the offensive end of the floor between our guards and posts. How important is it going to be tomorrow night getting the rest of the posts going? Um, I know that he was almost like the first start. He was going to be really good up there. How important is that to be to get success? I think it's going to be crucial. You know, I think it's going to be crucial um, that we get them involved early. We've got to, you know, got to make uh, their post work. You know, they can't take, uh, they can't rest on the defensive end of the floor. 
So we've got to have great balance. Um, we've got to get everybody involved, in, and that, that's going to be something that we'll focus on uh, going with the game. You don't have to necessarily beat them to death. They realize yeah. when they when they've uh, made some mistakes and play. Yeah, they um, they have they're very competitive, and they have high standards for themselves. And um, when they don't reach those standards that they've set for themselves, um, they're disappointed in themselves. So. Um, you know, I don't have to, like I said, I don't have to beat them off the head with things. They, they realized that that wasn't our best effort. Um, and to their credit, they came back to the gym yesterday, and they were in great spirits, and, and we got better. Coach, you know, the people that came, I guess, you had her winning drop one spot. Is there any discussion about that, players using that as any motivation? I, honestly, I didn't even know about it until you just said it. So, All right. um, I, I really haven't. No opinion on that. Um, that again, that's that's not the stuff that fuels us. I mean, we're we were more we were and are more concerned about how we played against Howard than you know than the polls. You know, the polls will fluctuate all season long. Um, so we just want to be in a good place in the poll, in the final poll. So you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, that's one word that no, you can't specifically talk about. Players, but uh, you know, letter of intent day is it's it's tomorrow. Like tomorrow. Can you talk a little bit maybe about how, how exciting it is to to have that day and uh, without going into any specifics about the players? <laughs> no, tomorrow, is, tomorrow is signing day. It's going to be really exciting mm -hmm. um, on signing day, and I'll be really happy when our fax machine starts to hum and things start to roll across that stuff. Is that good enough? That's good enough. Or you, is it kind of weird going to be in Texas while this is while it's going on, while the national game is going on? Um, yeah, I guess because I probably won't even really think much about it until Thursday, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, but it'll be cool.